Good morning, everybody. This is Evan from gmacclub.com, and today we're going over an assumption question. For those of you on the forum already, you might know me by my forum name, Nightblade354. This question doesn't have a lot of information to go on at this time, but we'll try and break it down anyways in terms of statistics. There is no difficulty attached to it. Uh, however, 62% correct at 13 tries. This will probably stay pretty close to this. It might drop a little more, or increase a little more. I'd say the minute 33 is pretty accurate. I'd say it's probably a low uh, 700 question. If that, it's probably closer to the 600, 700 level, but it's certainly not sub 600. And a minute 33, it, it may be a little long. Try and shoot for a minute 15 if you're trying to get a verbal score above 37. With that said, the way to tackle assumption questions, we know it's an assumption because it says which of the following is an assumption. In order to tackle these types of problems, we simply negate the answer choices. And we're going to break that down and show you how to do it. So that way moving forward, you have a better understanding. And on to the question, let's see, prolonged exposure to exceptionally violent or chaotic circumstances can cause post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, in some individuals. Okay, so we're talking about a, psychi a psychiatric problem basically dealing with stress. Psychiatrists, also known as doctors, in Virginia indicate that the proportion of patients coming to them for treatment of symptoms related to PTSD has increased enormously over the past five years. Okay, so it tells me this is our premise and that this is our conclusion. Thus, so this is our conclusion uh, conclusion indicator. If you don't know why this is a conclusion indicator, please see my guide on gmatclub.com. It will explain why this is indeed a conclusion and why this is indeed a premise. Thus, either Virginia has become more violent and chaotic over the last five years, or individuals are more sensitive to violence and chaos than they were five years ago. Okay, so they give us a decent argument. By the way, this first sentence here is just context. It's letting us know what PTSD is. This premise then supports this conclusion. And they're telling us that, well, there's been an increase, therefore it's either more violent or people are more sensitive. Boy, that's a fairly big jump to make for a problem like this. The conclusion itself doesn't really hold. Just because more people are seeking treatment doesn't mean that it, you're you're in a more chaotic place or people are more sensitive. Uh, for example, I just said pe more people could be seeking treatment, for example, um, or something along those lines. There are many other reasons that this could be going on. So that, that's really the gap in between this premise to this conclusion. It assumes that these are the only two outcomes. So as long as we see something that says, well, there are only two outcomes here, or that uh, it gives us a third outcome, that would be our answer choice. So with that knowledge, let us dive into these answer choices. And again, we know assumption because it says uh, assumption. Answer choice A, the number of psychiatric practices in Virginia has not increased over the previous five years. In order to negate, you simply take out or add in a negative. For example, this not. You can also do it with uh, amount as well. So all would negate to some, some negates to none. I'm sorry, all negate, yes, all negates to some, some to none, most negates to not most, so on and so forth. So you can do it that way. Uh, however, the easiest way is just to add in a no or a not or take out a no or a not. In this case, we're going to take this not out right here. And the number of psychiatrists in Virginia has increased over the previous five years. If this statement were to destroy our argument, this would be our answer. But who cares about the number of psychiatrists? This would build on another assumption of, well, if there are more psychiatrists, more people are seeing help. And that's why the number is going up. But way too many assumptions to be made here to justify this answer choice. Clearly not correct. B, individuals with PTSD are, so again, make sure to negate this, are more likely than other individuals to have other psychiatric disorders. But we do not care about other psychiatric disorders. We are simply caring about PTSD and what's triggering this. 
and whether this statement is correct or not in terms of the assumptions it's made. We just want to call out a different assumption or the assumption it made itself. This just says, oh, well, someone who has PTSD has other issues. That doesn't help our argument. <laughs> Keep in mind, our conclusion is that it's either X or Y here, and this says you have other issues. This might be baiting you to think, well, if they have other issues, then they're probably in a more destructive place, but we can't really make that assumption here, so it's wrong. Uh, answer choice C. Individual PTSD are, so again, take out the no, are more likely to seek diagnosis than they were five years ago. Perfect. Absolutely perfect right here. This destroys our argument. This our argument says it's either X or Y. And we're told, no, 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 no. There's really a Z option here. Wow, it's a horrible Z. I apologize. Uh, let me try and fix that really quick. Eh, still no dice. Sorry to my elementary school teachers. This calls out that assumption. It says, no, 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 no. There's a third option here. It's that just people are more likely to seek treatment. It's not that it's a more violent place. And it's not that uh, people are more sensitive to the city they live in. No, 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 it's that they're seeking treatment because there are better health options available to them. Th this is absolutely perfect, destroys the argument. Uh, the conclusion falls apart here, and this is our answer. At this point, you should move on, but because we're doing a very thorough review, we're going to go through D&E. On the real test, <laughs> don't do a breakdown of this in your head. Skim through the answers, negate, negate, find the one. Once you know it for certain that this is the right one, and I know it is, Circle it, mark it, move on to harder questions. All right, answer choice D. Virginia is an exceptionally nonviolent and organized environment. Okay, so let's just say it's um, not. Sorry about the writing. We're on a mouse. We're going to try and correct it later. Uh, is not an exceptionally nonviolent and organized environment. Well, who really cares? We talk, <clears throat> excuse me. We talk a little bit about the environment here, but all this says is, yeah, it's a violent and really not organized community. Does that mean that it's any more violent than it was five years ago, or does that mean that people are more sensitive to it? No. We're just stating a fact about the city, but it doesn't affect our conclusion. So don't get tripped up by this. And lastly, E, individuals in Virginia, uh, again, negate. Individuals in Virginia do live in violent and chaotic circumstances more often now than they did five years ago. Okay, a very interesting answer choice. It says that people do live in violent and chaotic circumstances more than they do five years ago. You're, you might be thinking, oh, this is perfect. This absolutely destroys argument we talked about this this uh this fits perfectly here this is wrong simply because this just strengthens our argument up here the argument says oh well it's either a more chaotic place or people are more sensitive to it this just affirms that and says no 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 it really is a more violent place therefore this supports this uh and unfortunately this doesn't destroy the argument this is not what we're looking for we're looking for the opposite. We want to destroy this argument we or weaken it. We don't want to strengthen it, which is why E is incorrect. Hope you guys enjoyed this explanation. Plenty more coming in the future. Please go on the gmatclub.com and check us out if you haven't already.